The title of this painting is The Pride of the Smoky Row. The Pride of the Smoky Row was a ragtime tune from 1911. I commissioned this painting, and I'm going to tell you about the artist, about the painting, and about the song, The Pride of the Smoky Row. So stay tuned. Hey, Vinyl Community, and welcome YouTubers from everywhere. Going to have a little video here showing some art that I commissioned and the music that goes along with it. I hope you all enjoy it. The last video, hard to follow up, something like that. So going to be going back towards boring for most of you for a little bit. But I want to thank all the new subscribers. We've got 60, 70 new subscribers from that last video. And it's kind of uh, restarted my, uh, my vinyl community channel that had been not quite dormant, but not too active for a while. So thank you again all, and I hope you enjoy Pride of the Smoky Row. Here is the artist, David Thomas Roberts. You're going to hear more about him working on the painting in his outdoor studio. This is on high quality art paper and various colored media. David Thomas Roberts is not just a visual artist, he is a pianist of the top caliber. Here is his first LP done in the 70s, Music for a Pretty Baby. A few of you may have seen the movie Pretty Baby. The tune Pretty Baby was a big hit written by Tony Jackson, a friend of Jelly Roll Morton. The movie takes place in a bordello in New Orleans before World War I. That's uh, a pretty hard record to come by. I'm happy to have it. David is a composer. Uh, what you guys probably would call ragtime, but it's a lot broader genre than that. Here is Family Line System, all original compositions on the Stomp Off label. Here is another Stomp Off, the Amazon Rag. Classic folk ragtime from America. And another stomp off, an album of early folk rags. He is one of the top folk rag pianists, as well as being a composer of that kind of music. A little later in this video, I will have up this picture with a performance of the tune that inspired it. The Smoky Row was the area where the lowest class prostitutes worked. Hey, do I have your attention yet? Yes, we all thought for a long time that the Smoky Row was in New Orleans, and there was a Smoky Row in New Orleans, but uh, turns out with later knowledge that there was also the Smoky Row where the composer was thinking when he wrote the tune. You'll see in the painting here that in the right-hand side is the New Orleans with the architecture from the period. In the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see an artist at an upright piano representing Jelly Roll Morton. He was one of the first pianists playing in the body houses in New Orleans, and he wrote a famous tune called The Naked Dance, and up above him you'll see a visual impression of the girls doing the naked dance, the high kicks for their customers. On the left-hand side, you'll see the architecture from the same time period is in Indiana, not New Orleans. I, I forget the exact place, but I believe they were working on the Erie Canal, and it turns out that was the area where the composer lived, and the tune The Smoky Row was written for that particular area. But really, it's applicable to either. In the middle is just the New Orleans architecture, uh, the backside of some of the girls, and uh, the Pride of the Smoky Row has always been one of my favorite ragtime tunes, and so I commissioned David to do this painting. This is his representation, his idea, and I'm extremely pleased with it. She must have been a beauty.
I say, keep them spinning, and I better not see any of you down at the Smoky Row. Happy trails to you until.